the, those who have captured the state have found elections to be a fertile ground exactly. to cause divisions and animosity mm. amongst those who seek to end their control of the country. Mm. And that invites us to have very clear and deliberate way in which we manage the struggle during elections. It's critical. If we don't, then the elections will forever become an enemy of liberation. Mm. But we can use the elections as an opportunity for the liberation. The only way we shall use the elections to become an opportunity for liberation is to harmonize our approach by all who seek liberation, our approach to the elections. And that's why we have been very, uh, you know, consciously and consistently working for the united forces of change. That all those who seek liber liberation, whether from different political groups, or those without any political group, and they are the majority, actually, that we all strategize together for liberation, including how we use election for liberation. We must have a strategy of our own. According to Kenneth, you are undermining the, the decision you've made to create another political faction. You're actually undermining that vision of a united forces of... Well, first of all, as I have told you, we are not seeking to create anything new. Mm. We are the same. We have been there. Mm. We, it, all these people who came to, to, to Katonga, they, they are not new people. Mm. They have been there for the last 20 years. Mm. So would they suggest, for example, that the creation of NUP was inimical because there was already FDC. Would anybody suggest that? That NUP should not have been created because there was already FDC. No. Because those who created NUP must have uh, had their own reasons for associating that way. Provided if whatever they are associating us, their mission is liberation, then they should harmonize their liberation intention with all the others they find in their arena with that mission. Mm. And, and, and so they would have to, live to uh, harmonize whatever they are doing with FDC, whom they have found, with DP, whom they found, with the UPC, whom they found in the arena, harmonize to, to achieve the same goal. Mm. You see? And, and as I have said, you see, every, uh, you, it's not necessary or, or, or even um, advisable to simply have every egg in the same basket. That basket could explode and you have nothing. As we have seen, there are all kinds of landmines looming all over. So having different fronts for a struggle is not uh, bad in itself, provided those in those fronts can harmonize on the purpose of achieving their common goal. Do you think the Katonga faction can harmonize with other political players and, as we and, have, and, that we have now? Of course, and that's what, as I have said, that's the mission actually of Katonga. Because Katonga was there before FDC had problems. So the mission of Katonga is actually to harmonize with all change-seeking persons. That's why at Katonga the first outfit that came out of Katonga was called Activists for Change, mm. A4C. Yes. A4C included all parties. Mm. You know, there was UPC there, there was DP there, there was FDC there, 
there were people who had no uh, no parties. That is the Katonga. Mm. And that is what, so the, the harmonization, which we have now been calling the United Forces of Change, mm. is what must be focused on. So that it's not a partisan struggle. Liberation is not a partisan struggle. It's a citizen struggle. Because it is citizens seeking, actually it is slaves in the country, slaves and uh, subjects of those who captured the state seeking to regain control over their country. We, we now exist in Uganda as slaves or subjects of the mafia state, the people who control us by terror. So if we want to regain our freedom, we must all unite. That's what happened even in independence struggle. Mm. There were different formations, but we are all working for independence. Mm. And, and that is because once we regain control over the country, mm. we will manage a transition to a democratic Dispensation. dispensation in which necessarily you will have different parties because we will then argue mm. about how the best way to develop mm. the country. Now we cannot have the same thinking about how Uganda will be a prosperous country. We will have different thinkings. And those parties aggregate unite together people who think in a particular way of how Uganda should develop, mm. they create their own platform. Others who think in a different way create their own platform. These platforms present their plans of how to develop Uganda to the people of Uganda yes, and, and the decide. people choose the best whom option. to give power mm. to do whatever they have uh, suggested. So that is under the democratic dispensation. Okay. But to get the democratic dispensation yes. is where we have to you, unite okay. and, and scrupulously avoid or even fight against any source of trying to divide that, that, us. That, that, that was going to be my last question in this particular issue. Is how have you immunized yourself? You have been using that word. How have you immunized yourself against the invisible hand that has affected the opposition over time in this Katonga new faction? Well, the immunization, first of all, uh, as we have been saying, it's not just over the Katonga faction. Mm. It is over the whole citizenry. Mm. Because as I have pointed out, this struggle will not be won by... Uh, one group, and of course I completely detest calling Katonga a faction, mm. because as I have showed you, it's, it's the, the constitution mm. is very clear. Yes, There is only one FDC mm. whose chairperson is not contestable. Yes. So it's what is, that's why what is in Najanankumbi is a state operation. It has nothing to do with FDC. And that's why even we are seeking to, to stop the abuse of the word FDC by winding it up okay. so that it stays. So um, o o o regarding uh, uh, how uh, we are immunizing processes that lead to a new formation, uh, the first thing is awareness of what has happened mm. and how it happens, you see? Yes, the second thing is now creating new institu and institutions that will uh, avoid what, what has happened. Mm. Because, you see, it has shown that you can, ha you can have elected leaders who betray the, the mission. And we had no institutional mechanism to control that. And that's why it has caused us all this mess. Mm. Uh, so there we must create checks and balances on how elected people can use power 
or if they abuse it, how they can be quickly checked mm. without um, the uh, uh, rigorous processes that by the time they were invited, the damage had gone so far. Mm. You know, the, the national, say we are calling a national delegates conference. By the time you do so, as we have seen, the damage is already too much. They, they are already mobilizing as police to attack, to what, you know. So, yes, there will have to be reforms mm. within the structures. And this is why I was telling you that uh, learning from that, what we create, I think will also need to be looked at by many people mm. uh, to see how indeed these situations can be, avoided. can be avoided. Secondly, of course, in the creation of the new platform, uh, you know, even other people who have suffered in the same way, can we can all agree to come together okay. and create one platform. All these are options that uh, rather than each one treat their own disease, mm. we could treat our disease together. Okay. And that we are also uh, interrogating the possibility of that. But having said that, you see... Mm. Does uh, it include on that issue? Yes. You see the, the, the debate as to how we shall end the state capture is a very lively debate. And we may never agree those who are seeking change. Part of the problem which was in FDC earlier, but which fortunately we managed democratically, was about that. The, the, there was an argument or a, an idea led by General Muntu that we can cause change through elections provided we don't immediately focus on removing the leaders at the top. That we go down, yes. we invest in yes. building grassroots structures, yes. use them to win grassroots positions, Position. mm. win LOC1, mm. then use those uh, gains at the LOC1 to win more councillors mm. in the local governments, then use those gains in the local governments to win more uh, MPs. Exactly. And when we have many MPs, we change mm. the, uh, we, we undertake reforms mm. that then can allow us to win the presidency. Exactly. The, it's, a, it's, 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 it's a coherent uh, idea which we have debated transparently within FDC. And that's why when Genomuntu sought to create a new platform,